guys, it's your girl, Just Leave It To Me, on the channel where you can just leave it to me. And today, I am back with this bomb, sum up, sum down, blunt cut bob that I am loving right now. Y'all, I got so many compliments on this hair, on this whole entire look, and I love this look so much. I literally think it's going to be the perfect summer look for you if you try it out. You can do this in any color. It's quick, it's easy, and it's so cute. You can literally wear it with anything. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so gorgeous. I love it so much. And so we're not going to do any talking. I'm just going to go straight into the tutorial and show you guys how you too can achieve this look. Today's hair is sponsored by Nadula Hair Company. This is actually my second time working with Nadula and I have little to no complaints. They provide great quality for a great price. Okay, so as you can see, I already have the the wig installed because I wanted to save some time in this video and make it real quick, fast, and simple. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with parting where we want our ponytail to be. I'm going to part it on one side, then part it on the other, and then we're gonna go to the back and make sure everything's good there. So in the back, you can see I still have like some tracks showing, so we're just gonna take some of the ponytail out and lay it over this track just like that. Super simple and beautiful. All right, so we got that down. Now, I'm going to get this ponytail piece out the way because we're we're not gonna work on that just yet. We're going to work on our bob first and then we'll be back to our ponytail later. So we're just gonna clip it up and save it for later, good. Now, as you can see, this hair is long. Yes, it was 16 inches at first. Eh, I didn't know if I wanted to cut it or, but I had to let it go. Yes, so it was 16 inches at first, but I just, I just thought it would look so much better as a bob. I just thought it would look so much better as a bob. I love bobs, and I just always feel like color looks so much better as a bob, like, because it's already a lot of color and you just don't want it to be overwhelming, so a bob is like just the perfect look for a full colored hair. Okay guys, let me tell you guys, while I'm cutting this hair, let me tell you guys about how I just shaved off my edges. Y'all, yes, I shaved off my edges. So, are you know on Instagram and stuff, and you see the celebrities, the ones that wear frontals all the time, they have like this, ear to ear oval shaped hairline and I'm like no wonder they get to lay their frontals so clean because they don't have no edges to deal with and if you've seen my previous install video you'll see that my edges like my baby hairs came out a little past where a frontal would typically lay and so I always had like difficulty laying them and blending them in with my frontal so I was like you know what let me go ahead and shave my edges too and a lot of hairstylists have admitted to shaving their clients edges so I'm like you know what this, this is what's gonna do it for me. This is what's gonna do it for my wigs. Mind y'all, I don't even wear wigs like that. Most of the times, nine times out of 10, if you see me, I'm usually wearing my, oh! <laughs> I'm so weak. Oh my gosh. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, um, I'm usually wearing my frontal, my regular hair. So why I thought that I should shave my edges for a frontal, I don't know. Do I recommend you save your front, your edges? No, I don't. Does it make the hair look better? Yes, it does, but um, I want my baby hairs back because now I can't do regular swoops with my regular head. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm just going around and trimming around my bob with some scissors. Yes, look at that. So for this entire cut, I just used some scissors and some clippers. Yes, I said scissors and not shears. You can definitely achieve the style with a $2.99 pair of scissors from the beauty supply store that you pick up really quickly and you can still get a nicely slain bob cut. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Gots To Be glue and you see those flyaways? That's the only thing about this hair that I kind of have a problem with is the flyaways. Um, so we're going to fix that, not a big deal. I'm going to put some Gots To Be glue on top of those flyaways and brush them down just so that they're nice and clean. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna brush those down just like that. Get those flyaways all the way down. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of spritz on top and brush that down. It looks stiff, but it's not stiff, I promise. Look, whoop, whoop, yep, mm-hmm. It is not stiff at all. I did get a little heavy on the spritz, but it's okay. So hear me, here's me again trimming as usual. And I'm going to scarf it down nice and tight. And um, 
after we come back I'm gonna scarf it down for like mm, let's say 15 minutes and after we come back I will start to work on the ponytail yes okay so now we're back I think I took a nap a nap oh no that girl ate oh I ate oh that girl is full look at her <laughs> I'm so weak in myself that girl is full I'm weak Okay, so you see that it's kind of flat, but it's okay because it's still laid, so we're good. Um, and we're just going to start working on our ponytail. So I'm going to make this ponytail with some rubber bands because scrunchies just don't work for me. And I want, I hate when people put their wigs in like a ponytail and then the puff is under. Like it's kind of like puffy on the bottom. I hate that. So the rubber bands really help to give me straight, flat, like roots at the bottom of my ponytail and so I'm gonna tie this real tight look at that I'm like really pulling this real tight real real tight so that the bottom can be flat because I hate a puffy ponytail okay perfect so I'm going to use a piece of track from my third bundle and um, fold it in half then I'm going to use that to wrap around my ponytail. So the ponytail is not real thick, so I want it to be a little thicker. So I'm going to use it to wrap around. So I, I'm wrapping it around right now, but I'm going to put a pin in the beginning to hold my wrap. And then I'm going to continue to wrap it all the way around all the way around our ponytail was real thin and I don't really like that. I wanted a, a bit of a thicker ponytail so it looks full. So this was the perfect way to do it. And since I'm not using any pins or glue or anything like that, you want to wrap around the base real, real tight so that it can hold itself, so the ponytail can hold itself. So once you're done wrapping around, you want to pin it in perfectly like that. And you see how we have some of the track at the roots? So you want to take a piece of the ponytail from the back, spray it up with the little spritz. I think I got it on the camera a little bit, no? <laughs> no. Okay, and then wrap it all the way around the base of that ponytail just like this so we can hide that track because that is not cute. And then pin that down just like that. Just like that. So perfect. Okay, so I was going to wear it to the back like this at first, but after I looked at it, I was like, mm, it's not that cute. So I was like, let me put this joint to the side and then bam, so cute. And so that part got to go and I'm going to cut it to even up with my bob, straighten it out a bit, put some swoops, put some concealer in the part just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And I was actually going to wear it just like this straight, but it looked a little flat to me. So I went ahead and added a couple curls just to, you know, add some pizzazz wazz. Oop. <laughs> so there we go. So I'm going to curl that just like that. Curl, curl, curl. And then I'm going to curl the rest. I just did like three pieces and curled it. So curl it just like that. And after I'm done, I combed it out. And this was my final look. Oh my gosh, what a hottie. I love it. Thanks again for joining me in yet another tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you do choose to do this look, please tag me on Instagram so I can see at Just Leave It To Me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. And until the next time, I'll see you then.